exercise, professor of kinesiology at McMaster University, Martin Gabala, may have the solution for you. A lot of us lead very busy time press lives, and so interval training presents a time efficient option to boost fitness and health with less time. Go, 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 go. Good work, good work. Go, 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 go. Nice job. The one minute workout is based on research in our lab where we've had people do as little as three 20 second bursts of hard exercise. So there's typically a short warm up, a little bit of recovery in between, and a cool down. So your time commitment is about 10 minutes. But within that, only one minute of very vigorous exercise. And we've compared it against another group who was doing 50, five zero minutes of continuous exercise three times a week. After several months of training, the improvement in their cardiovascular fitness was the same. The improvement in their blood sugar control, the same, and even molecular and cellular changes in their muscles was the same. Any traditional type of cardio exercise that you're familiar with can be applied in an interval manner. So stair climbing even, running, swimming, elliptical machines, rowing. Our biggest problem is just getting people moving. And so if you're motivated to come to the gym, you're doing the public health guidelines, good on you. But the problem, of course, is that most people aren't doing that, and the number one barrier is time. When I talk to my behavioral colleagues, they tell me, the more exercise options we can give people, the better. The more menu choices to pick from, the better. So on those days when you don't have that hour block of time, don't blow off your workout. Intervals provide a more convenient way, I think, to fit exercise within your life, rather than having to structure your life around exercise.